Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero, the end of the sea frosty survival game. We're going to talk to you today about Omega Base and how to find it. Yes, folks, Omega Base. It holds things like nuclear reactor components, picture frames, more posters, and other such stuff like that as well, as well as the blueprints for swim charge fins. So it's a lovely day at Delta Station Dock where I start off for the most of my videos on how to get to places. And from Delta Station Dock, we're going to get in our sea truck or whatever form of transport you want to get into. And we're going to head southeast. Follow the heading that I've got on the screen. So southeast, you're going to be going the best part of about 850 meters away from Delta Station Dock to find Omega Station. It's going to take you into another biome where there's all these massive whale-like creatures, but it's typically called the lily pads area. Once you're there and you've traveled the best part of 850, 870 meters away, uh, 850 meters away from Delta Station Dock, you'll come across this area. Now it's quite easy to find. Lots of routes coming around. Have a good look around if you have, if you quite missed it. But if you head southeast from Delta Station Dock, 855 meters, go down about 200 meters, you're gonna find it, right? There's all boxes outside. Now you can maneuver that sea truck in there, providing you've got nothing else attached to it, even I've crashed, and you'll come across Omega Station. So, tick in the box for this video, that's how you find Omega Station. Great, but what can you get here? Well, if this is one of the first stations you've gone to find and you've swum here or used the sea glide, then there's quite a few items that you can scan. Not to mention the exterior grow beds. You can also take some cuttings as well from some of the plants in the grow beds. Should you want to make your own little garden at your own base. So there's ribbon plants, antenna fruit, all that sort of stuff. Give it a cut and grow your very own in your own exterior bed. Now, that's where you get your swim charge fins, but we'll come on to that in a minute. If you've got a torch, I suggest you put it on because even in the great daylight settings, it's in a cave, it's a bit dark. So once you get in, there's lots of detritus floating around, lots of stuff that is sort of like, once it's blown open and exp being exposed to the sea, you know, it's floating around. Once you go in, you can scan Danielle's bed. You can also get a lamp. And the picture, you can pick that picture up though you can't scan it. Oh, isn't that lovely? So there's an aromatherapy lamp. Now there's two of those in this location. Scanning one makes you get a blueprint. What it does exactly, I don't know. Just looks quite nice, doesn't it? There's gonna be floating flower pots around. There's gonna be benches. There's gonna be Danielle's bed. If you're into collecting people's beds, I don't know, you may be. I have quite the collection so far from Subnautica Below Zero and a bit of framed art. Having a look at that with the torch. Yes, it's very circular. Looks like a pie chart. Or at least a Venn diagram. Moving into the next area, keep an eye on your oxygen. Hopefully you've brought either some bladder fish with you as a sort of oxygen or you've got an extended oxygen tank. Or at the very least, go back to your sea truck. We should be able to get you so far and to replenish your oxygen from there. You may want to move it a little bit closer to the Omega outside pad. So with your air all nicely replenished, time to get back in and carry on with the exploration of Omega Dock. So time to get that old flashlight out and get yourself back in there. So mustn't forget that glass roof on that multi-purpose room as well. So if you haven't got the multi-purpose room, you can scan it from here. You can also scan the bulkhead um, in and then to the left again, to the next bedroom. Again, it's a coffee machine on the wall, vending machine, trash can and water filter. Um, you can see already, cause I've got highlighted items switched on, which helps things that you can pick up. There's postcards, give you extra log items. There's a pad on the bed. Of course, the water's made a right mess, and yet another bespoke piece of framed art. With that in mind, time to get back out of here. Scan that bench, if you haven't already done so. 
and move into the center area. Keep an eye on your ear. Not much to scan in here other than the great big whopping fragment of the nuclear power plant. You can see it glowing with a yellow hue around it. There's the nuclear reactor fragment. Give it a good scan. And there you are. You've now got the tech. Pick up the PDA. Make sure you've had a good look round. Nothing else is glowing for a, for a scan. So that's basically it in this room. But that should be enough, really, that nuclear reactor segment. With all that done, time to get back out again, recharge up all your air in the seed truck. This is why you typically do need a seed truck for this part of the mission. It's also going to trigger an in-game message from Alan. At this kit stage, though, I'm not going to answer that. I'll put it back to my log and I'll get to it later. With oxygen recharged, get the torch back out, and now it's time to go off to the right into the last remaining room. If you look up, there's not only a composite plant pot to scan, but also that glass roof, a PDA, and a lockbox as well, which is the control room, if you haven't already got one. And I've got a video on how to get another control room elsewhere. Again, there's a aromatherapy lamp. There's a water filter. And a PDA on the bench. Scan the counter. That means you now have a, scan, a counter blueprint for your base. Nothing else to scan in here other than the ceiling. There you go, multi-purpose room, glass dome. So in essence, that was it. That was how to find Omega Dock. We went all the way from Delta Station Dock on a southeasterly heading, went down 200 meters in a sea truck. We then had a little bit of a nose about, got in, found Omega Dock, went in, cleared the bedrooms, got an aromatherapy lamp, got some pictures, scanned the bed, went in, got another picture, went and got the nuclear reactor fragment, and then went in, got the multi-purpose room, glass ceiling, and a couple of PDAs as well. You also would have got hold of some plants as well. So that was typically it. How to find Omega Lab, Omega Station, whatever you want to call it, Omega Lab in game without dying. Nice and easy, no dramas. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I've been Ricardo, thanks very much for watching, and look out for my other Subnautica Below videos on YouTube. See you soon, and don't go drowning.